Hello Audacious Church and Audacious Christians everywhere. My name is Jen Weaver and I'm part of the North location of Audacious Church. And my brief to you today is to talk about a verse that is one of my favourites from the Bible. The verse that came to me was a verse that taught me something at a very difficult time in my life. And it has helped me through life's difficulties up to this present day. This first occasion was when my husband was going into hospital just for a minor investigation and things went a bit wrong and he developed septicemia. And within 24 hours, he was seriously ill. He was in renal failure, one of his lungs had collapsed and it seemed like every time I went to see him, they told me something else that had gone wrong. Now, at the time I was, um, a, well, I still am a trained nurse, and I was a ward sister. So I knew that what they were telling me was quite serious. He'd gone into hospital, a well young man, and he was physically fit. And in 24 hours, things had deteriorated so badly. One day uh, during this, this time, I was hoovering in my landing and I was so frustrated. I was throwing the hoover backwards and forwards on the landing. And I was saying, please God, don't let him die. When a scripture came into my head and the scripture was, I will bless the Lord at all times. What now, Lord? When I'm in this terrible situation, bless you now. It's okay on Sunday mornings, but now, Lord. And I realized that I had some challenges. The first challenge was that I had to bless the Lord. It was up to me. The second challenge was that I had to change my mindset and I had to choose to bless the Lord. And the third challenge was that I had to do it at all times. So it didn't matter what my day looked like. I had to bless the Lord during the good and the difficult times because God is worthy of our worship. We used to sing a beautiful song by Tim Gosden based on this verse, and it was, at all times, I will bless the Lord. With every step, I will praise his name. No matter what's before me, I know that you are with me. At all times, I will bless the Lord. And for this psalm, David was the psalmist. And David had had his share of difficulties, but he'd learned to be a worshipper at all times. The things I learned through that time of illness, and Paul did recover, thankfully, taught me to worship through all of life's challenges. When we were building a church, there were many times we had no money to pay the bills. And yet I saw amazing answers to prayer that were totally miraculous and we worship through those challenges and then presently we're involved in a charity in Jerusalem and because of Covid nobody visits the charity so we have no income whatsoever and we needed income just to keep the site up and running and we found that God has been faithful in ways we could never have planned. We bless the Lord for his faithfulness during this COVID season. And also currently in our personal lives, we have challenges that we don't like, but we are still worshiping God. Sometimes our worship comes from heart set free and it's so easy to worship God's, God in those moments. And sometimes we choose to worship through our pain, but we will worship. I want to read you a few verses from this psalm, it's Psalm 34, and the verse I read to you, I will bless the Lord at all times, is from the authorised version. But now I'm going to read it to you from the Passion Translation. Psalm 34, just a few of the verses. The psalm is titled God's Goodness, and it says, Lord, I'm bursting with joy over what you've done for me. My lips are full of perpetual praise. Join me, everyone. Let's praise the Lord together. Listen to my testimony. I've tried to give you a bit of that today. I cried to the Lord in my distress 
when I had nothing, I was desperate and defeated. I cried to the Lord and he heard me. The angel of the Lord stooped down to listen as I prayed. Drink deeply of the pleasures of this God. Experience for yourselves, experience for yourself the joyous mercies he gives. Worship in awe and wonder all of you who've been made holy. Those who passionately pursue the Lord will never lack any good thing. The Lord is close to all those whose hearts are crushed by pain. And he is always ready to restore the repentant one. Even when bad things happen to good and godly ones, the Lord will save them and not let them be defeated. And this verse, I would like it to be like a prophecy over your day to day. God will be your bodyguard to protect you. When trouble is near, not one bone will be broken. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, bless everyone today as they go about their, uh, what they have to do. And may they know your presence and may they be able to worship you through the dark times and through the good times. We thank you because you are always there for us and we want you to be blessed by our worship. Amen. God bless you today, Audacious Church, and may you always be blessed.